What's up again guys? My name is Lei and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very interesting experiment. That is, I will try to use rices. I have no idea how much would that be either now. To see how much and financial should be worth or should be valued. As we all know that and financial aka and group is the biggest IPO ever in history. However, just two days ago, it was stopped by the government. It was stopped by China. It was put back by the Chinese SEC. For the reasons behind, I'll explain in detail in my another video. Welcome to check it out. So today in this episode, we'll focus on how much should Ant Finance aka Ant Group worth? Because what's the issue in nature there is about its valuation. So in today's episode, we'll just focus on the fun experiment itself. So basically, I'm going to use the amount of rice to represent the wealth and the value of the listed companies to see how wealthy are they. I've selected the biggest and most representative listed companies in bank industry and tech industry from New York Stock Exchange and China Stock Exchange respectively. The winners are Apple, JP Morgan Chase, the newly listed SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, and ICBC, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. So for the bank industry team, obviously it's JP Morgan and ICBC, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. So for the tech industry team, obviously it's Apple and SMIC. <coughs> the next step is Let's take a look at the market caps of all those companies in numbers. So those are the official numbers that I got from Nasdaq and Shanghai Stock Exchange. I hope I've bought enough rice for today. So let's open it and put it into boxes. So let's start and do it. Ha, see you again. I'm finally back. Well, so I've prepared my notes here. So here are my notes and numbers. And also here is the rice that we've prepared. So to better understand it, Let's suppose this each rise here. If we are using today's current exchange rate, uh, which is one US dollar is equal to 6.3 RMB, then this one single rise, let's suppose, equals to 100 million RMB, which is around 16 million US dollars. Let's suppose this one single rise equals to 100 million RMB which is around 16 million US dollars-ish. Are we clear? Okay, let's start. Oh my God. One, two, three. Why am I doing this challenge? <sighs> because I'm late. Okay, let's do it. Wow, wow, wow. After countless counting, let's um, take a look at the initial stage. So this one represents 100 million RMB, which is around 16 million US dollars. And this is 1,000 million RMB, which is a billion RMB, which represents around 160 million RMB. Well, this is 10 billion RMB which is around 1.6 billion or US dollars. So this is 100 billion RMB, which is around 16 billion US dollars. 16 billion US dollars.
First is JP Morgan and Chase, which is around two trillion. Two trillion. Oh my god, we roughly got the JP Morgan and Chase valuation here. So the whole JP Morgan and Chase is market cap is roughly these amount of rest. The next comes ICBC. Let's have a test how valuable is ICBC and how much it worth. This is ICBC. The next is SMIC. Let's have a look. What? This SMCI is much smaller than I expected. Well, that is because the biggest internet company, tech company of China, Alibaba and Tencent, is not is all not listed in China. So if from Asia market, there is no good example. Well, it's good that we find SMCI actually has a very small market cap, even though its P ratio is insanely high as 270. Let's change to a reasonable big market cap tech company of China, Alibaba. Alibaba. Well, now we can see this is Alibaba. Well, this is ICBC. Next comes Apple. Pew. Oh my god, see what comes here. This is Apple. The paper is already buried. The paper is already immersed in the virus. It's already buried. That I cannot see it anymore. <laughs> this is Apple. So let's come back to see again those four companies. ICBC, Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, which is the largest listed bank company in China. JP Morgan Chase, the leading listed bank as a representative of 
in the US Bank. Alibaba, a very good representative of tech company of China. Apple, wow! Leading company that has the biggest market share on New York Stock Exchange. Now let's have a look at these examples again. So this one single rise represents how much you still remember. This single rise here equals to 100 million RMB, which is around 60 million US dollars. This number probably exceeds 99% of people, any single individual that can learn entirely in his life. Can you imagine? This is 10 times of this. This is a hundred times of this. Well, this is a thousand times of this. Well, this is tech company Apple. This is the tech company Alibaba. This is the bank ICBC. And this is the bank JP Morgan and Chase. After my whole days of work, I hope you guys have a basic understanding, have a basic conception of how valuable those big companies are and what's the market cap of those companies. How much do they worth and what's their valuation? However, today here, I'm just using the rises to compare to its market cap. While there is a more important concept, if you are investing in any stock, that is called the PE ratio. It's not hard to find that the tech companies are much more expensive than the bank companies. We can see it from the PE ratios as well. Here is a list of the PE ratios of the four companies that we have done example with. If Ant Finance is going to be characterized as a tech company, this is also why they changed its name from Ant Finance to Ant Group to make it more tech driven as a strategy and in the future. So if they are characterized as a tech company, its prices may be as high as Apple. There's huge differences between the PE ratios of banks and of the tech companies to much, much stricter rules and regulations but also its price might be ICBC or JP Morgan. Are we clear? That's exactly the issue that's going on now. Roughly, if we say on Chinese capital market, if ICBC's P ratio is six, if we say ICBC's price of each year is six, then the price of a tech company can be over 200 can be as high as like 270 while a share of the bank only costs six. This is the difference. So is Ant Financial a tech company or a financial bank? This is huge difference. It will have huge impact on its valuation and its prices. Besides wealth and investment topic, I also touch upon topics of intimate relationship and personal growth. Here are some contents and welcome to check it out. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and click the like button. Thank you for your support and only upon your support can I further produce more videos. If you want to see me more in the future, please make sure you subscribe my channel and also leave a comment below. Stay tuned. Any suggested topic is also welcome. So I will see you in the next video.